Well, hello, friends. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for joining me today. This is Cheryl, and I am going to do a walkthrough of my digital planner, kind of an overview of the last six months. So again, welcome. Welcome back. If you have been with me before, a special welcome if this is your first time joining me. And I hope that you will like the video and share it with your friends. And I just want to say that I designed this planner uh, in Adobe XD, and uh, which is a cousin of Adobe Photoshop. So the cover pages, all of this was designed in Adobe XD. Now I did add links in the updated version of GoodNotes when GoodNotes 6 came out. So what I do in my planner is each month I kind of go in with the highlighter tool and just highlight the dates that I know that are coming up in special events. If there's like vacation or a conference that's going to be more than a couple of days, I just, just draw a line with the, with the highlighter tool and I can choose different colors. And I like this kind of a goldish color because it kind of coordinates with my planner. So then I did the same thing in my yearly overview. I went through the month, each month, and plotted out the events that are coming up throughout the year. And I've done this up through July of this year, kind of a year in review. So I do use a kind of a dual system, digital and paper planner. So I kind of try to coordinate what's going on. And I do like writing things down. So that's why I use both. So each month there's a cover page, there's kind of a kind of a positive statement at the you know for each month when things change inside you, things change around you. So it's kind of like keeping that positive thought um, each day. So I kind of plot out my dashboard, my monthly goals, dates to remember, projects that I'm working on. So I kind of go through this for each month. And as I said, I I kind of did the the links in the good notes planner feature itself so i just kind of go through and i used um kind of elements kind of a combination of things that like this is a text that i did in photoshop so and then i have some text that i use in good notes itself some of the the text that come pre-installed with the planner I like the noteworthy text. I also like the Zapfina, which is kind of a calligraphy type. And part of like this kind of a fun text. So you'll see kind of a combination of text and elements throughout each of my monthly and weekly planners. So this is one of the weeks. And most of these were from Good Notes. I think this was from the Bible app, but the shapes and colors I did in Adobe XD. So each one of the months should have a a link, but sometimes they work and sometimes they don't, but most of the time they do work. So I can go to the February hopefully and when you're when you're in the in you know when you're filming sometimes things work as planned then sometimes they don't. So let's see if we can get some of these links to work in one of these planners so we'll we'll find a link that works so here we go so this one is for february and then the numbers here on the side coordinate with the weeks of the month and i haven't gotten all of those done and then i have the lists and uh, links over here photo video sticker i do use that so i'll, I'll get to that one in just a minute then i can go to notes I can come back to the planner or blog to do and design. So these elements, as you see here, most of these I did in Photoshop. I do have a paid subscription to Photoshop. This is a text type tool that I found in Photoshop. I uh, chose different colors to kind of just kind of change it up a little bit. Um, I think this was all of these mostly are from Photoshop. And this is a photo that I took and designed in Photoshop. 
in, let's see, that's all of these on this page, I believe, are from Photoshop. And I think with the exception of this one, um, I may have from one of my Bible uh, journaling friends, may, I may have gotten that one from. So, and this one is from Pinterest. So I kind of each month kind of go through and plot out my month and then go through each one of the week. And I kind of like dressing up my planner because it makes it fun and visually appealing to me. So that's kind of why I choose to decorate each month. So we'll go here to June. We'll go to June. Guess this is where we currently are. So the same thing. We had, um, what is this day? We had World Ocean Day. We had Flag Day. We had Father's Day. Um, there's some birthdays, appointments. Yeah, it's kind of laid out. And then I kind of like to find something positive uh, to put in my planner, um, just to kind of, kind of a self encouragement kind of a thing. Goodness and mercy shall follow me. And that is a scripture reference. This is, um, kind of a sidebar that I kind of designed. And then you can see here, if I click on this one, let's see if we can get this to come to the front. So that's a recipe. And uh, I found that recipe on Pinterest. So that's kind of a good different way using shapes and colors and text type tools to kind of just add a little little spark and zip to the planner. So let's see. So then I plot out each week what's going on. And this last one here, we just came back from vacation. So these are some of the pictures, kind of a mood board that I selected to do. Um, just kind of a, a memory kind of a book there so then we have see we can get to this page here I hopefully can get it to open but if not we'll see if we can get it to go from here maybe doesn't seem like it wants to cooperate maybe on one of these pages we can get it to get to the notes page but I don't seem to be able to get there so we'll go to the sticker page here and this is kind of where I bring in stickers that I've kind of designed that I know I'm going to use and most of these as I say I um, this is a composite that I did in Photoshop all of these let's see there's all of these I either downloaded from Photoshop or digitally design myself so that's kind of a quick overview of what's going on here let's see and then I have my faith planner these are the pages that I have here uh, let's see and I did a um, kind of a soap overview of a scripture um, just kind of go through each one of the scriptures and kind of use shapes and colors in here and here we go in the verse map. I did Galatians 6 2. And then we want to go back to our planner. And let's see if we can go back to just show you kind of how the links work. I can go to that page. Now that is interesting. It says the link doesn't work. So let's go over here to this page and see if we can go there. Okay, so that takes me back to this year overview. And then I can click on the month and go back to June and so that's kind of and as I said all of these links I did in the good notes um, file here now one of the things you might want to to look at is you know good notes has come out with some new elements that you might want to consider some are free and some are for minimal charge of $1.99 so those are some things that you might want to consider to kind of add some spark to your your digital planner. And for me, I think it just adds a little bit of fun and interest. So this is the last page that I'm going to kind of go through and just using the shapes and kind of currently what I'm reading currently is um, one of the new uh, John Maxwell books. 
Uh, I downloaded it from Amazon and it's on my, my planner. So just currently watching. I got to catch up on, on the Bridgerton series, um, listening to just kind of a easy listening music on YouTube. Uh, we explored parts of France in Paris. And I need to start getting my elements together for July. And right now I'm feeling pretty good. I did have a little health scare, but, you know, I do feel it's so important that we focus on taking care of ourselves, our body, our health, making sure that we're focusing our our physical health, our spiritual and emotional health. Those are some things that are so important, making sure that we are mentally and emotionally healthy. And the, when we're focusing on all of these things, you know, making sure we have... Um, you know, work-life balance, uh, you know, making sure that, you know, our professional and family obligations are in line together, you know, that we have our lives in balance, you know, our faith, our family, and work. And we have those things in order. Um, We're able to focus on ourselves and empower ourselves and those around us. Uh, to succeed in life so you know mind body spiritual and also community friendships I find that you know having a core group of friends and those people that we can call on that are going to give us emotional support those people that are going to tell us the truth no matter if it's good or bad and they have our best interest at heart and then fun things hobbies choosing things that bring us joy and for me it's you know besides my family I enjoy photography and creating just fun things with cards and uh, learning to use my Cricut machine to make little gifts and things that I can share with family and friends so I hope that you have in some way found this um, a little bit of encouraging and inspiring and to, you know, look at your own digital planner and see how you can add some elements of interest, some floral designs, some shapes and circles and choose a color palette that brings you joy and focus on taking care of yourself mind, body, spirit. And I think when we focus on taking care of ourselves, because self-care is not selfish. When we are taking care of ourselves, we're able to bring joy and life to others. So friends, I want to thank you for joining me today. And again, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining me. And I'll be working on my July planner and elements. So until next time, Ciao for now. Bye-bye.